I would say that uh, in terms of specific action items, we need to get USAID personnel in Gaza. We can do it. It won't be that hard. Two, we need, the Congress needs to commit to UNRWA. UNRWA has been uh, harshly criticized by certain elements in our Congress based on faulty information. But I will tell you that uh, Chairwoman Nita Lowy and Chairman Berman have made very positive statements about UNRWA. And, but, but as a whole, there's this, always this low hum where we have to defend UNRWA. Uh, and I think that that's a shame. We have to um, encourage Israel to deal forthrightly with the recommendation in the Goldstone Report that they engage in their own process so that we can stop any further diplomatic isolation and help them sort of restore uh, some credibility internationally. I think that's very important that the Goldstone Report is not asking for a lot. It's just asking for Israel to have its own credible process. I don't think that's too much to ask. Let me also say we cannot, we've got to stop this thing. You know, there was a bunch of students from Gaza who are held up for their Fulbright scholarships. This is, this is insane. We can't have these kind of things, and we've got to be much more robust and dynamic diplomatically. I also think, and I think this would be a political risk for the president, but I think he should go make a large, a big speech in, 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 in Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, uh, which can help the Israeli population understand that, look, um, this is not to harm you. The relations are to help you. We want to improve relationships, build, and your security is dependent upon Palestinian viability, statehood, and security. And, and I think that uh, that's something that I would hope would happen. You know, for a while, I know his, his approval ratings were down in the single digits there. Uh, but I think that in order to loosen the grip a little bit uh, and get some real buy-in from the Israeli population, it's at least something to seriously consider. And then when the call for Palestinian statehood is made, I hope Americans support it. Uh, I don't think it will hurt uh, our ally Israel. I think it will help them, although I think there will be resistance. But I think that it's something that, uh, that ultimately uh, is going to happen, and uh, I think that we should be ready for it when it does and should be supportive of that effort.